This is KTN News. I hate to ask, but is there any chance of an upgrade? Any chance of an upgrade? Upgrade, pretty please. Look into my eyes. Could be twins. Have you thought about being a model? Don't upgrade your seat. Upgrade your airline. Fly Emirates. The Smart Harvest and Technology Pullout is now bigger, brighter and better with Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology as the official knowledge partner. The Smart Harvest and Technology Pullout has taken farming to the next level with Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology experts' guidance on soil, food science, animal health and water technology. Advice on value addition that offer guidance on how farmers can make more on fruits and vegetables. The pullout highlights the innovations in technology and guarantee maximum yields for farmers. The counties features successful farmers' stories that share best practice methods. All this and so much more in your copy of the Smart Harvest and Technology Pullout, only available in your copy of the Saturday Standard. News. Welcome back. Today, God Online. If I decided to probably skip going to church, the physical church, and decide to watch Reverend Lucy Natasha on YouTube, have I gone to church that morning? Well, today on Tech Central, we want to talk about God Online, all right? So with me this morning, I have Reverend Tony Kiyama, and seated on my extreme left is Reverend Lucy Natasha. Thank you so much for your time this morning, and thank you for being on KTN News. And so let me start with Reverend Natasha. Mm. If I miss going to church, on Sunday, a physical church, mm -hmm. and I decide to stream your message mm -hmm. online, mm -hmm. be it on your Facebook page, on your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Have I gone to church? 
Uh, that is a very good question. One of the things that I want to begin by saying is that uh, distance is not a barrier in the realm of the spirit. Mm. Uh, going to church physically is very important. That one I quite agree. But uh, the place of online churches in our society is whereby there is a certain gap they feel because you are able also to listen to the message from the convenience of your home, especially for people whose schedule are not, uh, do not allow them or do not permit them because there are people that have have, you know, uh, work engagements that do not give them that opportunity to go to church. So for me, I can say that, uh, you know, we are not saying that uh, uh, that should be the only means that you go to church, but also distance is not a barrier in the realm of the spirit. So for me, if somebody has uh, streamed in live and they were not able to make it for service and they have watched, they have listened to the word, they have gone uh, through the praise and worship, to me, I can say that uh, they, it's still a service. All right, Reverend Tony. Have I gone to church? Um, I think it's not a yes or no question. Mm -hmm. Online church should not be the norm. It should be the exception. Uh -huh. Because going to church is not an academic exercise. It's not about receiving information. Um, it is about engaging and fulfilling a command. Uh, Paul wrote in the book of uh, Hebrew 10.25, that do not give up the good habit of meeting together, like some. So there are some who have given up that good habit. So the opposite of good habit is there are some who have engaged in this bad habit of not going to church, as scripture uh, prescribes. Mm. Uh, and when you go to church, it says, encourage each other as the day of the Lord draws nigh. So it's in fulfillment of scripture going to church. Okay. Reverend Natasha, how mm -hmm. has technology, especially in this day and age, which I, as well we have used mm -hmm. to really spread God's message, mm -hmm. how has technology, though, disrupted church? Okay. Technology, uh, it, has, uh, it has been a blessing, but on the other side, mm -hmm. it has also disrupted church in the fact that, uh, you know, sometimes people take too much time, you know, in uh, technology and on social media platforms and fail to have fellowship with God. But on the other hand, also technology has also been a blessing to the, to the body of Christ because we are able to reach uh, uh, thousands of people through, you know, if social media is utilized well, we are able to impact more people, you know, and we are able to spread the message because everybody right now is on the social media platforms but on the part that it has disrupted church is that people spend so much time now on technology that they have no time to fellowship with God no time to study the word no time to you know to just fellowship no time to pray because that is the only disadvantage but Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read a tweet just to compliment what you say, that mm -hmm. if your spiritual nourishment is on Twitter, you're in so much trouble. Mm -hmm. if, if God is, is, is if your first mm -hmm. uh, uh, relationship with God is on mm -hmm. Twitter, That's you true. are in trouble. Yeah, you need a personal relationship with God, a personal walk with God, where you create time to pray, to read your Bible, you know, where you spend time, you know, fellowshipping with God, not just on Twitter or on social media platforms. So I agree with that. And on that note, Reverend Tony, how has technology, just to add to what Reverend Natasha has said, <clears throat> empowered the church? I think um, with every tool, when you use it positively, it mm -hmm. adds value. And there are places where people would smuggle Bibles before, and now we don't have to, because because there are places where uh, the legislation, it, it is in the, it's embedded in the Constitution where they have been denied the freedom of worship. And people would smuggle Bibles, you know, and risk their lives. And some are still in prison, some have been beheaded. But because of this, you know, the Bible is online, now they can read in the comfort and the safety of their homes mm. and listen to preachers around the world. Mm. Of course, uh, that has also created a significant problem in the sense that um, there's also, you know, it, any fool in error, uh, Shakespeare said, can find a verse in scripture to support their folly. So there's a lot of cra trash out there also, and, uh, and it has been given airtime. But yes, technology has come to add significant value uh, to the body and to the church, even for me personally as a pastor. The fact that on my phone, I have, what, maybe 24 versions of the Bible. Previously, I would have had, you know, mm -hmm space on my wall, you know, I mean, at home, on my shelf. 
where if I have to refer, I need a whole big desk to keep referring this verse and get what it means there and there and there. But now, you know, at the touch of a button, it's, it's right here. And I can save my, you know, my sermons. I don't have to keep paper all over the place. So it's, it's, it's added I, significant value. I'm glad that you say that also on um, the aspect of technology. <clears throat> Um, the thing is, even online, just as um, we have um, people who are close to in sheep but are the actual wolves in the real world, how can we as the body of Christ come out and, 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 and defend or um, shove the pastors who are uh, of quality and of truth and of goodwill vis-a-vis -vis those who are now falsely leading the masses online? Let me first of all um, <coughs> say this, that in Acts chapter 17, uh, the Bereans were considered wiser than all the others because they confirmed that which was preached by Paul. And so it is incumbent of every Christian to verify that which they have had in scripture by reading it for themselves. So it is not the responsibility of anyone else but mm. your own personal responsibility right. to confirm that which you have had in scripture. So yes, there is a lot of trash out there, but whatever you, you hear, it is your responsibility. Mm. It is your prerogative mm. to find out, uh -huh, is this true or not, by reading the scripture for your Self. Okay. Reverend Natasha, before mm -hmm. I um, bring you in and mm -hmm. get your thoughts, just